All right, so I'm down here at the uh, Rock Creek Powerhouse. It's going home and I noticed it's not running. It's usually like a couple feet underwater, I think, from that pipe and those doors. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes here and actually fish this riffle right here and see if I can catch a fish. Um, I'm not sure if there's really a large population of fish that are in here because it's normally ripping like class five rapid right here. So we'll see what's in here and check it out. Epic pike bite. These would be perfect striper baits out on the river. Go lay down.
that's a trout. Holy cow. That's a good trout. Finally got a trout. my uh, dropper long enough he got tangled up and wound up breaking off my other fly So I was gonna fish the truckie or the little truckie and just check it all out. There's one. Oh, that's a good one too. Wow. And uh, I rigged up a really light Euro leader today to do all that. So I'm fishing uh, 5X. Boy, that didn't take long. Ooh, that's a really nice one. That did not take long. There we go. There we go. 
no. Got him. Look out, Lou. It's a nice 14 inch fish. This is pretty much average up here. Good 13 or 14 incher. Water's so cold up here right now. Um, today is the first day of fall that I had to uh, throw some waders on because last time it was just a little chilly. walking So if I had to guess, this water's at least 12 feet deep right off this rock. Just a deep channel in between the rocks. But there's other boulders down there. Huge boulders. And uh, that's the perfect type of area for a fish to lay. There's one. Ooh, that's a good one. Not bad. I'm just on light line here. I might have a double, guys. Just a really nice rainbow. Gorgeous rainbow. Oh wow. What a fish. Stop Lou. What a fish. Get back. Great fish, everybody. Oh, fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. Just stepped around too long. That was a 16, 17 inch fish. Um, bright red, beautiful. Man, that sucks. I wanted to show that one to you guys. But honestly, I was just in a bad position. Oh man, he swam right back through. Honestly, I was just in a really bad position here. I was too far above the water. Out of range with my net, which meant I had to try to come down here. And uh, that's what happens. You don't think ahead and you can lose a good one.
Come on, Lou! There's one. That's a good one. Too. Oh, did you see that? Keep losing them, Lou. Can't keep losing them. guys wrapped up he's wrapped up so fucking windy oh she's a good one another 12 incher good little fish second landed today that's Lost like three or four. Lost a ton of flies today. I was way up the canyon there and uh, just couldn't even see the bottom, even though it was only five feet deep. There's one. Little guy, but we got one. Go. Go. Good little fish. that guy on a caddis, a red caddis, it's like a dark brown, almost red. I'm just bombing it out there, trying to get it down, get the, to the cider as quick as possible. No. Another one.
So I've got a uh, couple caddis flies here. One's unweighted and it's more like a scud than anything. And I've got one that's... There we go. The weighted rust caddis. That's a good 12-incher. 